Have you ever considered the possibility of a spiritual battle unfolding right before our eyes? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? In today's world, where we are so consumed by the physical, it's easy to dismiss the spiritual. Yet, it's an integral part of our existence, a realm that transcends our physical reality. It's crucial that we understand its implications. In this video, we're going to delve into the concept of the Antichrist and the Great Deception. The concept of the Antichrist has its roots deeply embedded in the annals of religious history. It's a fascinating tale, woven through centuries of belief and interpretation. The term Antichrist itself originates from ancient biblical texts, specifically from the New Testament epistles of John. There, the Antichrist is not necessarily a single entity, but rather denotes anyone who denies Christ and leads others away from his teachings. The concept has evolved over time, taking on different meanings across various religions and cultures. For instance, in Christian eschatology, the Antichrist is often seen as a singular entity, a deceptive and charismatic figure who will rise to power in the end times, only to lead humanity astray. This interpretation is derived from various biblical prophecies, particularly the book of Revelation. Here, the Antichrist is represented as the beast, a figure of great political power who will demand worship from all nations. However, it's important to note that the term Antichrist is not used in the book of Revelation itself. This association has been made through centuries of interpretation and theological debate. In contrast, some Jewish interpretations don't identify the Antichrist as an individual, but rather as a collective force of evil. Similarly, in Islamic eschatology, a figure known as the Dajjal bears striking similarities to the Christian concept of the Antichrist, a deceiver who will lead people away from the path of righteousness. Yet across all these interpretations, there is a common thread. The Antichrist is not merely a figure of malevolence, but a symbol of deception, a master manipulator who will seek to lead humanity away from truth and righteousness. This is what makes the concept so intriguing and indeed frightening. For it suggests that the greatest threat to our spiritual well-being may not come from outright evil, but from deception, from those who can make falsehood appear as truth. The Antichrist is not merely a figure of evil, but a symbol of the ultimate spiritual deception. Fast forward to the present day, the Antichrist has taken on many forms in our collective imagination. In the realm of popular literature, authors have spun tales of the Antichrist as a charming, charismatic figure, a wolf in sheep's clothing, so to speak. These narratives often draw upon the biblical depiction of the Antichrist as a deceptive figure, one who leads the unsuspecting astray with promises of peace and prosperity. Movies, too, have played their part in shaping our modern understanding of the Antichrist. From the silver screen's portrayal of the Antichrist as an apocalyptic harbinger of chaos and destruction, to more nuanced depictions that explore the moral complexities of such a figure, the Antichrist remains a potent symbol of the ultimate evil. Conspiracy theories also abound, with many speculating on the identity of the Antichrist. Some point to influential world leaders, others to powerful organizations. These theories often reflect our anxieties about the concentration of power and the potential for manipulation and control. In the digital age, the Antichrist has even found a place in the realm of online discourse and social media. Discussions range from serious theological debates to more light-hearted, tongue-in-cheek memes. This reflects our society's diverse and evolving attitudes towards the spiritual realm. But perhaps the most telling aspect of these modern interpretations is what they reveal about our deeper fears and anxieties. The Antichrist, in all its various forms, represents a deep-seated fear of spiritual deception, whether it's the fear of being led astray by a charismatic leader, or the fear of a world thrown into chaos and destruction. The Antichrist serves as a potent symbol of these fears. In essence, the Antichrist in our modern imagination is a reflection of our anxieties about the unknown, about power, and most importantly, about spiritual deception. These interpretations, while diverse, all point to a common theme, the fear of spiritual deception. The Antichrist and the Great Deception are intrinsically linked in what could be the ultimate spiritual battle. 
This battle, as we understand it, is not just a simplistic dichotomy of good versus evil. It's a far more complex tapestry, a struggle that extends beyond the physical realm into the spiritual. It's a conflict that underpins our existence, a battle waged not with weapons, but with beliefs, faith, and the very essence of truth itself. The Great Deception, as the name suggests, is a concept rooted in spiritual subterfuge. It's about a grand illusion, a mirage that's so convincing, so real, that it threatens to distort our perception of reality. It's a battle fought in the minds and hearts of individuals, a war that seeks to manipulate the very fabric of our understanding. In this spiritual battlefield, the Antichrist is often portrayed as the master deceiver, the architect of this grand illusion. But remember, this isn't a battle of firepower, it's a battle of faith power. It's not about the strength of armies but about the strength of convictions. The Antichrist in this context is not just a physical adversary, it's an embodiment of falsehood, a symbol of deceit, a representation of all that stands against the truth. It's a spiritual paradox that challenges our understanding of the divine and the profane. This spiritual battle is not just about defeating an external enemy, it's about recognizing and overcoming the internal deceptions that cloud our judgment, distort our perceptions and lead us astray. It's about discerning the truth amidst a sea of illusions, about standing firm in our faith amidst a barrage of doubts. So when we speak of the Antichrist and the Great Deception, we're not just talking about a mythical figure or a prophetic event. We're talking about a spiritual struggle that echoes within each one of us, a battle between truth and deception, faith and doubt, hope and despair. Understanding this battle is key to understanding the spiritual landscape of our world. As we've journeyed through the origins and interpretations of the Antichrist and the Great Deception, we've uncovered a complex spiritual landscape. We started by exploring the origins of the Antichrist concept. Rooted in ancient scriptures, the Antichrist is more than a mere character in a story. It's a symbol, a representation of all that is contrary to the divine. Then we delved into the modern interpretations of the Antichrist. From popular culture to theological discourse, the Antichrist has been portrayed in various ways, each interpretation reflecting the fears and hopes of its era. The Great Deception, too, is a concept that has evolved over time. Originally understood as a grand scheme orchestrated by the Antichrist, it has come to symbolize the struggle between truth and falsehood, authenticity and deceit in our spiritual lives. The Antichrist and the Great Deception are not just about the end of the world or the final battle between good and evil. They are about the spiritual battles we face every day, the choices we make and the paths we choose to follow. Understanding these concepts in the context of a spiritual battle is crucial. It helps us to see the stakes, to recognize the forces at play and to better prepare ourselves for the challenges ahead. Whether you believe in the Antichrist or not, the spiritual battle of truth versus deception is a universal struggle we all face. In understanding this, we can better navigate our spiritual journey.